Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to open our wooden cabin advent calendar. There's little doors and drawers and each one has a little animal inside. It's from Plow and Hearth. And I just love the detail of this little cabin. The numbers go from 1 to 24. There are doors on the front, side and back. And the Teletubbies and Kitty are going to help me open today. Poe, we're going to start with number one. And the first animal we see is a little brown bear. And it looks like he's been dropped on the floor because he's missing an ear. So we have to be very careful with these animals, Kitty. We want them to last for a long time so we can use this calendar year after year. Now it's time for number two. Oops, sorry, Dipsy. It's a red bird with a black head. And it has a little peg at the bottom. There are holes in the house where you can place birds. Put this one on a corner of the right side of the roof. Don't worry, Kitty, it's not a real bird. Number three, Tinky Winky. Oh, this one's a little stuck. Mmm, I know. I'll just pull it like this. Perfect. And it's a blue bird. It has a little bit of green and a little bit of black on it. Let's put it on top here. Kitty sure enjoys these little birds. Now this is supposed to be number four, but instead it's a number six. So we called the company and they're going to send us a replacement drawer because we have two number sixes. So as you can see, I've put a number four on the screen so that you know what the number four looks like. In number four, we got, hmm, I think this is a little squirrel, maybe? Yeah, let's say it's a squirrel and we'll put it on the bench beside Lala. Number five, it's on the side of the house. There's a little cute wreath right above the number five. I love all of the little details in this cabin. We have a black creature. This looks like some sort of badger. We'll hang him in the reef. Number six. It's a little deer laying down. Let's put the deer right beside the little tree dusted in snow. Number seven is a blue door with a wreath on it. It's a little bigger of a compartment. Ah, oh, this one has a chocolate coin. It's shiny gold. And the little animal looks like a gray wolf. We're going to put the wolf back because Tiny Treasures Minnie hasn't opened this door yet. So we don't want to ruin the surprise. Let's turn the cab and excuse us, Kitty. We need to get to door number eight. I'm going to open eight and nine and ten and eleven because we have so many doors to still open. Inside number eight is a little squirrel munching on a red fruit. Number nine is a goose. 10 is a reindeer with antlers. And 11 is another squirrel with a bushy tail holding a bread berry. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15. Oh, look! There's another little squirrel holding the red fruit. They're twins. Twelve has a little brown bunny rabbit. He's got his ears up. Thirteen is another birdie. Tweet, 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 tweet. This one's orange and black. Fourteen looks like a black Hmm, I would say a badger. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's a raccoon. Yes, it's a black raccoon. And of course the squirrel in 15. 16, 17, 18, 19. Here's a moose with big antlers. 17, now this looks like a badger. I'm pretty sure. 18 has a little duck inside. Quack, 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 quack. And 19 has a little gopher holding a little red fruit. We're getting close to the end. We need to look for number 20. It's on the side of the house by the chimney. Another bird, a black bird. Look at the birdie kitty. 21. A coyote. Ho! He's howling to the moon. Ho! Oh, got his nose stuck. Got to put him on his side. 22. A bright yellow birdie with a red beak. Tweet, 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 tweet. Twenty-three. Oh my, I think this is a black bear. But look, he's got funny little eyes. One's bigger and one's smaller. Okay, we're ready to open the big door. Number 24 in the front. Are you ready, Kitty? I wonder what could be inside. Poe's going to knock on the door. Hello, is anybody home? Ooh, the first thing I see is a giant golden chocolate coin. Oops, and I think that was a Santa and I accidentally, oops, and I knocked Poe down. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's a cute little wooden Santa ornament. We just love Advent calendars so much and we love Christmas traditions and we hope that you have some wonderful family Christmas traditions that you do every year. Well, thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with our Sesame Street toys and our Sesame Street block letters. They each have a different picture and a different texture. And they're all different colors. We're going to go through the entire alphabet today. Some of the letters have pictures of our friends and some have objects. Let's start with the yellow A. It has an apple on it. A for apple. B, a red B. B is for Big Bird, who is right here. There's also another Sesame Street friend that's name starts with the letter B. Who is it? 
Papa. Bert. His name starts with the letter B as well. Hi, Bert. What letter is next? It's C. Green C. C is for cookie or cookie monster. D, a blue D for duck. And it's a yellow duck. Next is purple E. E is for our friend Elmo. Do you see Elmo? He's standing beside Cookie Monster. But Elmo isn't the only Sesame Street friend's name that starts with the letter E. Who else has a name that starts with E? Ernie, Bert's best friend, starts with the letter E. Now it's time for F, a pink F, for fish. Speaking of fish, let's go feed our fish. They are hungry. G, orange G, for Grover, who's dressed in his fireman outfit today. H, green H for the honkers. They squeeze their noses and they make a honking sound. Honk, honk. I, yellow I. I is for ice cream. Mm, and it has sprinkles on top. It's yellow and pink. Maybe strawberry and banana flavored. J, oops, red J for Jack in the Box. Oh, I'm gonna go grab my Jack in the Box. Well, it's actually Sock Monkey in a Box. Let's turn the handle. Get ready. Pop, and there's our little Sock Monkey. Put him back and close the door. We're on to the letter K. Green K for kite. Oh, I love to fly a kite on a windy day. A rainbow kite. L for leaf. And it's a blue L. It's dark blue. And the M is light blue. M for milk or moo, because milk comes from a cow. The letter N, purple N, for newspaper. Do you have a local newspaper that's delivered to your door? O for Oscar the Grouch, and it's a pink O. After O comes P, an orange P for pencil. I love my rainbow pencil and it has glitter all over it. Q for queen. It's a green Q. Queen like the Queen of England. R. Yellow R for rabbit. Let's go search for Mr. Rabbit outside. He is white in color and I spotted him. Hop, hop, hop. He's our little garden rabbit. After R comes S, red S for Snuffleupagus, one of my favorite characters on Sesame Street. Snuffy is just so sweet. T. T for train. Choo choo. U. U for umbrella. 
on a rainy day. V, V for violin, a musical instrument. After V comes W, W for wa wa whale, beautiful creatures in the ocean. We need to protect our whales. After W is X. Not a lot of words start with X, but xylophone does. Y for yo-yo. And the last letter is Z. Z for zipper. And that's the end of our alphabet. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with our Yo Gabba Gabba toys, Broby, Muno, Fufa, Plex, and Tootie. They're each going to take their turn jumping into the pool and we're going to say the first letter in each of their names as they jump. Now, speaking of Muno, I see the moon in the clear blue sky. Did you know the moon is over 200,000 miles away from Earth? That's a long ways away. Okay, let's get back to the pool. Who wants to jump in first? Hmm, let's go with Muno. What letter does Muno start with? Mm, M. M for Muno. Next we have Broby. Broby starts with B. Next we have Fufa. Fufa starts with F for flower and Fufa. We have Plex. P, -p, -p, P for Plex. And for pool safety. It's important to have a responsible adult watch you whenever you're in the pool. And last is Tootie. T, -t, -t for Tootie. What letter does your name start with, Tiny Fans? And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We're here with Iggle, Piggle, and Tiny Treasures Minnie. Say hi. Hi. All right, we are going to learn senses with Iggle Piggle. What are senses? Tiny what? Treasures Minnie. Smell. Smell. So what, can you point on Iggle Piggle's out of his nose? Uh, touch. Touch with? Hands. Hands or even feet. Hear. Where are Iggle Piggle's ears? We hear out of our ears. And eyes. Where is Iggle Piggle's eyes? We see with our eyes. And taste. That's right. We taste with our mouth, mouth and tongue. Now let's see. Iggle Piggle turns on. Can you turn Iggle Piggle on? I think we push his hand. Oh, he's not working. I think we need to turn Iggle Piggle on. Can you turn him on for us? Okay, and give him a little seat. And, oh, and his cheeks light up. We can see him moving. We can hear the music. So we're going to have fun with a sense and grow a bag today. There are some surprises inside and Tiny Treasures Mini is going to pull them out. But we're going to, we're going to feel it first and then you can tell us what you feel. Okay, Tiny Treasures Mini? Okay, go ahead. What do you feel? Like a bean bag thing. Oh, beads in it. so there's little beads inside? Yeah. And what does the material feel like? Uh, like smoothish. All right, let's see. Pull it out. What is it? A star. It's a green star with a satin like material and beans inside. OK, 
Okay, next one. Oh, it's fluffy and soft, but what's inside? Like a package of... It almost feels like a snack, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, we can't open them up, but we just have to guess what's inside. Hard. Hard. And it's rough. red. And rough. And what's the shape? Square. Square. Oh, so it's kind of like a Velcro material. It's not very soft on the skin. And crunchy and hard inside, like little hard beads. Okay, next one. I think they're all going to be shapes of some kind. Smooth. Oh, another smooth one. A bit crunchy. Okay. Oh. A circle. A circle. And it's like, it's like a leather. And more beads inside, it feels like. And it's, what color would you say that is? Tan. Like a tan. And then what, what does this resemble? This, this pattern? Giraffe. A giraffe or maybe Rock. snake, right? Snake's skin. Fluffy. Oh, we've got another fluffy. And beads on the inside. Oh, it's very fluffy. Kind of like kitty. Oh, it's the softest one. And what shape is it? Triangle. And what color is it? Blue. Good. All right. Oh, I like that one. Reminds me of a pillow. Uh, hard and smooth. Hard and smooth. Ooh, it's like a mirrored silver heart shape. Ooh. More beads inside, maybe? Beads and, like, soft on the softer side. Okay, okay, this is like called a corduroy and some clothes are made out of corduroy what color is it brown and what shape is it square square and if, again it feels like some sort of seed or bead okay is there still more inside oh my goodness there's so many it's a one of i feel like flippy the flippy sequins yeah. okay oh you're right does it change color? Yes. From, from to blue silver. to silver, like fish scales. It is a flippy shape. What is that shape? Rectangle. Well, it has more rounded edge. So I, I would say it's more like, kind of like a potato. So an oval like shape. And inside there are some soft beads as well. I think we have one more left. What do you think? Yes. Oh, it's like a felt. It's kind of rough. It's not a very soft felt, but what color is it? Purple. And what would you say the shape is? It's like a half oval. It, whose house does it represent? It looks like someone's house from in the night garden. Tomley Boo's. Say it louder. Tomley Boo's. Tomley Boo's bush. Yes, it's like the Tomley Boo's bush. All right, well, thanks for your help, Tiny Treasures Mini. We're gonna count how many shapes were in the bag and we're gonna clean up, clean up. So ready? One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and Nine. you thought that was part of Eagle Pickle's blanket. Nine shapes, and we make sure we put all of our toys away so they don't get lost and we can have them to play next time. So thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Can you say goodbye, Eagle Pickle? Goodbye.